Good afternoon. Oh, evening, everyone. Sorry. Um, it's Ragged07 with you, and I'm just going to make this quick little video. And I want to talk to you guys about um, genetics and memory. Um, I watched a video from Greg at the Heaven Hell channel. I think I've mentioned it before. And he um, has a video about... Um, genetics and memories like maybe suppressed memories and genetics um I'll, I'll try to find the link and put it in the in the in the boogie bar down below um <laughs> what did i hear somebody say in my underpants once and they were pointing down like this and you know put your comments in my underpants you know that kind of stuff hilarious but um it was really interesting because you know we all share DNA as families go down from generation to generation and you have pretty much the same DNA it just branches off and probably mutates right and that's where you get genetic diseases and genetic crap like that okay mine's genetic my my disability for me is is genetic I, I think um, and what that is, is like, <laughs> it means a mutant gene, okay? Ah, no comments, no comments. So, I have the mutant gene, um, and sometimes uh, it's hereditary, which is still a genetic disorder. Um, there's two different kinds, so. I, not to my knowledge, is there anyone like me in the entire family? Um, or any, either side, so, which, you know, I'm like, surprise! <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and it's, it's okay, but, um, you know, it's like, when people think that they are reincarnated, okay, like, everybody thinks they're Marilyn Monroe, okay, it's almost obnoxious, okay, it, no. Like, how many people were in this woman? Okay, like, I know she had mental issues, but, um, come on. Because I know there's at least 5,000 people that think they were Marilyn Monroe. Okay. <laughs> um, I think a lot of that stuff that sometimes is just talk, you know, and wanting to get attention and all that. But there are other times that it makes you wonder if it's not genetically passed down certain memories or certain habits that this person has done, you know, or I lived in this certain time of my life, or I can remember having this job that I've never had, or being married to this guy or, or girl that I never did, had, you know, so, um, deja vu's, same thing, you know, uh, is that like a, a spark? I'd love to know what a deja vu is, really. It, I, it feels like it's like it's like the dimensions get shake, shook up or something. It's like and you're like, wait, I've been here. Oh no, wait, where are we? You know, that kind of thing. Um, so what do you guys think? Come on, let's get some uh, audience participation. Let's get some things rolling. And have a great night, great rest of the weekend party your butts off like it's no tomorrow because our time is short on this planet and I'm not saying go out and get totally ripped and puke all over somebody's carpet no nothing like that no but just enjoy this life and go out and if you can because I know it's storming in a lot of places you know just go outside and sit in the grass or something for 10 minutes you know it's not that hard and be it one, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I need to go to the park. I, I, I need to go to the park. I need to find that spot where all you can hear is birds, little animals, and off in the distance you can hear kids, you know. I want that, that kind of thing. And that would be so awesome. So awesome to do right now. But it's, it's weird outside because it's... Uh, sun shining and then it looks like it's going to cloud up and that's why we only ate lunch and came right back home 
So, but it was awesome today. Really, a cold day. And uh, I got, I got cat hair. I hate this. Did you ever get a cat hair, like on your there? She was rubbing on me, and was like, <laughs> like you know they push their body on your face and when you're like sitting up and they're like all over you and that's what she does she really will rub my face with her face and so I end up with like cat hair on my lips because you know you gotta do that thing she's my child what can I say okay I'm out of here I love you guys peace be with you always forever and um be nice to each other you know it's hard it's hard out there and it's even harder to uh, be online and not face to face because uh, I think that things can get a little I don't know people just take things differently than they would uh, face to face so anyways hang out with some friends enjoy the day Okay, and be be thankful for what you got because it can be gone tomorrow and you could go bye bye <laughs> and that's fine because hopefully you'll be in a good place. Um, and that's kind of how I'm just looking at at uh, death and um, I was talking to my aunt on on here and. Um, you know, we were talking about my, my dad and, you know, he passed away and stuff. And I was like, you know, it hurts. It hurts. It still hurts. And, but he's in a better place. You know, I just keep saying he's in a better place. And I said, you know, we don't, we don't know what, we don't know. And, um, once all the negativities are sucked out of you and you're, um, and, uh, and, you know, healed, like, mentally, physically healed. Wow. You're not the same person. There's no possible way. There is no possible way that you could have the same, well, you could have the same personality. It's just kinder, more gentler, softer, uh, more compassion because the earth like hardens us it can harden us a lot if we let it and uh oh if you watch paul begley which i do um on occasion he's uh, went to jerusalem and th the videos that he's got coming back um and he's posting are absolutely beautiful absolutely um the um oh my gosh he went to a whole bunch of different like uh, temples and churches and um, you know the mountain of temptation he was showing us that uh, just it was just amazing I would love to go there if I wasn't so scared of what all's going on over there uh, I would love to go that'd be great but you know again there's better things right around the corner. So, I love you guys. Again, peace be with you. I'll see you probably Monday. Okay. <laughs>